Turning now to political coverage, frustrated and upset. Local teacher unions joining forces to fight against the reduced pay raise passed over the weekend. NBC Local 33's Rachel Riley has that story. Outside of the Capitol, teachers came together to say that what they're being paid is not enough. With teacher shortages and uncompetitive wages, they believe that this is a recipe for disaster. It is imperative that we try our best to reach the southern regional average sooner than later. Today is the day. The Louisiana Association of Educators and Federation of Teachers make their voices heard asking lawmakers to reconsider the amount they're paying teachers. Legislators signed on to a bill at this point that only gave teachers the amount of salary increases that even the governor thought wasn't good enough. Dressed in black, these teachers signifying their disapproval of a $1,500 pay raise instead of $2,000 the governor proposed. They have all these other pet projects that legislators are trying to fund and they think because they've given a small increase that it's enough. LAE President Tia Mills says lawmakers are not meeting teachers' basic needs, which impacts them and their students. We want to live in homes. We want to be able to afford a vehicle to get to and from work. I think that's more than reasonable. LFT President Larry Carter says places like Texas are beating the state out of their teachers. They ultimately want to reach at least a $60,000 salary. We have to be competitive with those other states in the southern region to make sure that we keep the best and brightest teachers, but also we keep our veteran teachers here in the state of Louisiana. Lawmakers are hoping to finalize the budget plan by the end of this week. From the Capitol, Rachel Riley, NBC Local 33 News. Well, two